man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Few True Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. I am Brian Brian Peacock. And I am the Jeremy, the Coach Brooks. Nope, you both fucked up already. I did. Brian, he only does everything Peacock, Jeremy, the Host Brooks. Uh huh. <laughs> That's right. The Host. I gotta say that? I don't know if you want to. I ain't gonna remember that shit. <laughs> I know Brian likes his new moniker. Yeah. He only does everything. He only yeah. has his own microphone. I got it. I Jeremy. Have my own microphone now. Look here. Jeremy, the coach who knows the most. Brooks. There you go. Fuck you, John, the coachman. <laughs> we'll talk about that a little bit. <laughs> so today, we've got a few things to talk about. It's a light wrestling week. Nothing really happened on Raw. I will say, Raw this week, did you watch it? I fell asleep. It was actually pretty good. It was alright. Some I fell pretty asleep. good wrestling on it. Yeah, I, I, I give was... it to them. One thing, we'll just start talking about Raw right off the bat. Actually, I don't under... I don't know if I'm pissed off or not. Did you watch any clips from Raw? No. Right. So, uh, uh, Alexa Bliss came out, cutting a promo. That's when I turned it off. She's real upset that she's defending her title at the Elimination Chamber, but Brock's not. So are they not on the same level, even though supposedly Basically, the women and the men are what now? she was trying oh, to start is that. Yeah. a womenized thing, uh, whatever word I'm trying to use I can't use. Cause well, they, they are saying that the women... Champion is just as important as the WWE champion. She has a point. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you, and I hope I don't disrespect nobody by saying this, but Uh-oh. after that, yeah, after that segment, I turned that shit off. Really? Yeah, I did. I thought she had a great point, and she had a great point, but not right now. No. With all these allegations going around and shit. Okay. Not right now. The basis she's saying, why is the woman on the demand with this shit? Women should have more rights than men. If Brock can't wrestle, why the women gotta wrestle? Yeah, well, that's pretty much what you were saying. Too much shit going on right now for that. Maybe. Outside the ring. I get what she's saying, though. And Brock, I, I mean, if nothing else, I just want to see Brock defended at the Elimination Chamber. <laughs> I, I, I get what she's yeah. saying, too, but in Brock defense, that bitch ain't wrestled since October. Kurt said that. Yeah, I was yeah. Gonna, and she really hasn't. She, she, has, she hasn't, she hasn't defended the title since October. Yeah. Then didn't she say something like, I don't make the matches or something like yeah. that? Yeah. So, put that mic a little closer here. You can do whatever you want with it now. I can, yeah. But it's like... You, you, and you can boost the volume, can't you? I can. I could talk louder, but I'm not going to. Okay, it's actually it's picking up pretty good, so I'm not going to complain. I don't know. It just it rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. I was probably tired from work and all that, but... I get, I, I, could, I get what she's saying 100%. And, you know, like like the old days where it's a title match every freaking day. Yeah. You know, that's what it needs to go back to. They defend their belts every day. It said it's every pay-per-view. Yeah. You know. And the, 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 Not even every pay-per-view. That is true. That yeah. is true. You barely, you, the only time you see the mat, a title match is WrestleMania now. Pretty much. Uh, it's a big four event. I'm surprised we have a title match at Royal Rumble. Well, the reason it's like that is because Brock has it, and it's because Brock is a special attraction. Special attraction, my ass. Disney's a special no. attraction. People still go to it every day. Yeah. It's true. That's very true. He needed to get his ass there. He's not a special attraction. Well, that's, that's you know, kind of their... He's just a guy that can pick people up and throw them. Yeah, but everybody can. You know who, uh, who can pick people up and throw them? Who? Goddamn Cesaro. I knew you was going to say my boy. Yeah, man. Cesaro can pick people up dead fucking way. Have you seen that video that's going around of him? Mm-mm. He's, uh, he's, it's, uh, I don't know who the two people are before him. I think one's Bailey, but they're doing, uh, I think they're, I think it's the deadlift, where it's the bar on the ground, you pick yeah. it up over yeah. your head. Mm-hmm. Uh, this guy does it, he has, it looks like a lot of weight. I don't know the weights, I don't know the sizes. Uh, but they're big fucking weights. Um, this guy does it. It looks like he has a hard time. I th- it looked like Bailey. I'm not sure if it was her or not, but I think it was. She comes up and she does it. And she squats twice with it, but she has a hell of a time with it. Cesaro is like, 
What are you guys doing? He comes over, he just picks it up, curls it a couple times like it's fucking nothing. And he sets it down, he's like, that's how you work out. No, no, no bars are where, so hard to curl Where was to. this video at? I just I saw it on Facebook. Huh. Cesaro is naturally strong. Cesaro was crazy strong in Ring of Honor. Yeah, like he's and I'm and I'm and I'm to this day, I'm going to start a petition that makes Cesaro great again. <laughs> Give that man a fucking title shot. He need he needs a character change and a title. He push. needs to go back to his old ways with his old music. And Which give one? Give him a title shot. The shit that I can't understand because I don't understand this. this Claudio, he just, just needs to be Claudio Castagnoli. Be very I, I, that name would not get him very far in the WWE he universe. Just, he just needs to be. He needs, I'm, I hate to say it. Claudio Castagnoli is a great name. It is, but not in WWE. Why? Because they're not the same fans. The same reason why he's not Antonio Cesaro anymore. He's just Cesaro. No, I'm saying if he was never. I mean, he should have never been Cesaro. But do you think if he showed up, it's Claudio Castagnoli, and he was very European. That one that got over? <laughs> I think it could be Antonio Cesaro and be very European. Or just Cesaro. I think they should give him a fucking title shot. It, Fuck the name. That's true. The man right deserve up. it. Yeah. He deserve it. Shit. It can still happen. He's still young. He wrestled. He ain't young my ass. I do old. <laughs> he's not. He's, <laughs> he's, he's still going to be around for a while. He, but he ain't going to be the same. He, all the injuries he... That's catching up to him shit. His fucking mouth damn near gone. His mouth? His teeth and shit. He got hit one time or he hit something. Yeah. His teeth enlarged his damn mouth. You don't remember that? No. You, are you serious? Yeah, he got like... Uh, I forgot what happened, but it was not during the match. Did he get a kick or he hit the turnbuckle? No, he got launched over and he oh, okay. went and he hit that the fucking post cover. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do remember With that. his teeth okay. and knocked his teeth out. His two front teeth. Some of them went in his damn gums too. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know it was a really bad injury. Uh, that oh, shit, yeah. But he still wrestled. Oh, my God. A lot of okay. people, like, like you know, Sean Mike said, it would have stopped. Yeah. Pretty boys. Well, he would have lost his smile. You know, <laughs> that man attraction. He's a sexy man. Cesaro, you know, he's that Swiss Army knife. The other thing you need to go back and watch, and I will continue to sing his praises till the day I die... Dude, the Miz needs to be in the main event of WrestleMania. No, he doesn't. Nope. No, oh my not. God, his promo! If his promo could be in the main fuck event of WrestleMania, his promo and fuck him. He's so fucking I good. Agree. Nah, I'm sick of him. I love the Miz. Oh, you know, I, I, I would, I would like the Miz if he got rid of two slops that walked down to the ring. I hate when people are he, champions and they use other people. I love that he has the Miz to run. I, I like just him. don't like them too. It like, could totally like be them. someone else. I like them, but I don't like the fact that they interfere with matches. Speaking of two extra people on Instagram, Finn Balor posted him and the Good Brothers. You know what the caption That's was? That's a faction now. Is it? Yeah, uh, the Balor Club. They keep referring to them as the Balor Club. Yeah. His, his caption for it was bulletproof. Uh, I think I think they're going to try to watch AJ going. I wish they would stop this freaking... Uh, Raw versus SmackDown shit. Yeah. And just do it how, how they used to do it back in the day. You wrestling on Raw, now you wrestling on SmackDown. Yeah, the the brand split creates some more opportunity for some people. Nah, that's just stupid. They don't wrestle. Yeah. You, you know, but anyway. Um, we do have some news stuff to talk about here. Uh, WWE hired Serena Deeb. You remember from the May Young Classic? She was really good in that too. Or oh, I don't remember from the May Young Classic. You don't? No. Who was she again? Uh, she was the one who used to be in CM Punk Straight Edge Society. Oh, okay. She. Uh, I mean, she's pretty much nondescript. Was that Luke Gallows getting... in that one too? Yes. She was just that. She kept being touted as the veteran of the tournament. Yeah. She had a really solid match. Oh, we talked about her. Who was that? Serena Deeb. She looked darker. Well, she's she's not dark skinned, but she's tan. That bitch was white when she was in the story of the edge. Oh yeah, that was a long time ago, and she had a, a shaved head. Damn, she looked good. Yeah. Good. So she's yeah. gonna be a trainer at the performance center. She could listen to so, my dad train all night long. Never. That's awesome that they've now got Sarah Del Rey and Serena Deeb. I don't know who else they have for the women. I tell you one yeah, thing. I watch uh, on uh, uh, what culture. 
They they was talking about Ken Shamrock. They want Ken Shamrock to go to the training center. Okay, yeah, I, that makes I, sense. I, I, I like that. That's just them talking though. It ain't like gonna happen in real life though. Okay, yeah. Because he was talking about how you know the Rock come back, the certain person come back, but how come they don't bring him back for yeah. certain spots and stuff? They been talking about Brock and the Rock and somebody else. Okay. But hmm. Ken Shamrock ain't so bad. He look, he. He's, his body looks good, but you can tell he's old. Yeah. But and he was in MMA, so he's going to have like yeah. way more but injuries than most wrestlers. He still fights in MMA, too, to Does this he? day. Holy shit. And he, he just he want to go back to like The Rock, dude. He'll go, you know, show his face on TV for a little bit. But, dude, yeah. his music, I still, when I make a wrestler in one of the video games, I use Ken Shamrock's music. Yeah. <laughs> that it's used, so badass. I use the Stone Cold in the NWO. Yeah. I love his music so much. And his moveset. I always use his moveset, too. <laughs> now we use Daniel Bryan most of the time. Daniel Bryan or CM Punk. Well, I mean, yeah. It's Daniel Bryan. Everyone would like to use his moveset. <laughs> Even The Miz uses his movesets. <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably another reason I don't like him. <laughs> I like that he, like, took a move from him. I think that's an interesting story arc. I, I don't like if you... I don't like people... And I know it's, you know, I hate, I'm not going to say this on this podcast because we're friend, fans of wrestling. But I know. You're not going to say it, but you're going to go and say it? Huh? I'm not going to say it. No. No, say it. No, because I don't like saying it. Cause, I don't know, know what you're going to say. Script. Oh, okay. You know, Should have said that. Huh? Should have said that. No shit. <laughs> Excuse my language for all the listeners out there. I know it's the S word, but good grief. You know, if you're going to change titles. Let the man win it on his freaking own. Start having people interfere with that crap, man. It's pissing He's me off. He's a heel. That's what heels do. Fuck the heel. Fuck the, the face. Fuck the base. I don't give a shit. Back me up on this, Brian. That's what heels do. Yeah. I mean... It's getting worse, though, now. You're, you're angry, right? No, I'm not angry. I'm just sick of it. Here comes the therapist, Brian. God damn it. <laughs> Are you angry? <laughs> Were you not hugged enough as a child? Are you having these side effects? <laughs> do you need a hug right now? <laughs> I'm gonna hug a fucking pillow right now. Oh, me too. I don't, I've got one right here. Yeah, heels you are a supposed Kwan to. Jin pillow. You should be real fucking pissed off every time the heel wins the belt. You just really hope that that baby face is gonna come in and take the belt from him. Yeah, but I, I wish the Mistraj. You know who I wish the Mistraj was? Elias, because he's impressing the fuck out of me. And Tyler Breeze. No. Because they're both in entertainment. No. Elias is a singer. Tyler no. Breeze is a model. Hell no. No. Or Fondango. Or all three of them. Nah. Nah. Because mm, they're all in entertainment. From, yeah. Nah. I, see, I, see, I see where your point is, but not them three. What, I think all three of them are fucking great. Nah. Bo Dallas and... I don't agree with Bo Dallas and... Curtis uh, Axel are not great. I, I agree with that, too. They just don't have nowhere to go. <laughs> they ain't got nothing for them to do. Go out the fucking door. And I and I want to it'll be quick. But I bring it up later on about I saw some online about uh who's gonna be leaving soon. Who they think gonna be leaving soon? Who? Uh, it was a YouTube page. I think it was either what culture or Rasul Lama. And it was talking about the Ras top ten wrestlers that should be leaving 2018. Yeah. You know they always say the big show. They actually, they he doesn't need it. to. Well, they're actually having this retirement. Uh, yeah, it's going to happen uh, soon. His farewell uh, tour. Yeah. Mark Henry, which we all knew. That's, that's going to happen soon. Is he not already gone? Not yet. Okay. Uh, God damn it. Just bring up a couple. They, what's the uh, Titus O'Neil? Yeah. They're talking about he need, they need to get rid of him. It's a couple other Do ones. Do something with it. And them. it's basically the people that are either jobbers or they're just not used no more. You Kane. need jobbers, though. You have to have jobbers. Yeah, but I understand that. But, like, freaking if you was, like, a powerhouse before, then left and come back and you're a jobber, that, that means yeah. you, you're... Why? Whatever happened to Val Venus? He... <laughs> he got his dick cut off. <laughs> Actually, he owns something. He's doing He's something. doing something with marijuana. Yeah. Is he? Yes, yeah. he is very into that. Huh. He grew his penis back, too. Oh, <laughs> good for him. He grew some marijuana. Ty and Ty fucked him up that night. And they fucked up the whole... He did. Tour. That was funny. 
That was, that was that will never happen again. A gimmick like that, or uh, a gimmick and a angle like that, will never no. happen again. No. Somebody, no one will ever give birth to a hand ever again. <laughs> I'm okay with that. So Dude, many I things. Saw, will I never watched the Royal Rumble, 2000 Royal no, 19, no, it was 2000 Royal Rumble. And God, what was in that? That was when it was at Madison Square, but that was like the per, it was perfect Royal Rumble. The Rock won it. Okay. And, uh, that was when they, uh, <clears throat> the Dudley Boys against the Harder Boys in the tables match. Both you know, had to go to the table. They had the swimsuit contest. Okay. And, and Mae Young came out and showed her boobies. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Mark Henry came out and covered them up. That was when they was doing the match. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Mark Henry came out and showed his boobies. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I, I, I watched that. I've been watching a lot of the network lately. I don't know yeah. why. You're welcome. That's all you do. <laughs> yeah. I watch story, story Time. It's freaking amazing. I haven't watched that. You watch that. It's so funny. It's nice and short, but it's hilarious. I'm glad somebody's watching the network because I haven't it's been. Hilarious. I watched the crap <laughs> I watched been watching Nitro the past couple of nights. Yeah, that's why when you said you didn't have the login, I was like, shit, because I know you really like watching it. I just like going back to the old days. <laughs> yeah, you anymore. watch it much more. Me, I think... I think me and you were talking about buying you like a, a DVD set of like the old stuff. Yeah. And I was like... Oh, here we can just get in the network. <laughs> I, think, I gotta see if I can still get my network. You I, got I, mine. I, well, yeah, but <laughs> no point paying for another one. But I, yeah, it just. If you want to get the network, just go fucking get like High Spots Network and give me the login for that. <laughs> yeah, or the uh, Ring of Honor Network thing. That one. Oh yeah, that's ten bucks, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I want to start getting stuff like that too. Yeah. That one would be cool. Y'all see the link I, I shared on the page? Oh shit, I don't know. The Cody Rhodes Omega? I didn't watch it. They ain't do it yet. Oh, okay, yes, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Cody Rhodes and Omega. Now, I thought you were talking about them turning on Omega. That's gonna be, I think that's that, for WrestleMania weekend. Is, is that one? Okay. I think, I think it's in New Orleans. Have too. Rhodes and Omega oh, never wrestled yes. before? They have, but not like in this situation. Okay. That'll be really good. Oh, let me look on the page because I, I saw that and I about cried. Well, speaking of New Japan, we'll just go to this next one before you find that. Uh, Rey Mysterio showed up in a video package for a New Japan for a wrestling show. He's uh-huh. going to be facing Jushin Liger. Super fitting. Yeah. That means he's getting back in it. Yeah. And that also means he's not signed a contract to WWE. <laughs> so I saw the... Hey, but he doesn't need to. No, he doesn't need to, but that would be great if he did. Don't he have a Legends contract or some shit like that? He could have a Legends contract. Yeah, he absolutely could. I I really hope we get Rey Mysterio back in WWE, at least for a little bit. He looks good. Um, I saw something somebody was talking about giving him a title run, but I don't think he necessarily needs that. No, he had Batista. He's, that'd be cool. Yeah, you, you feel like some guys are beyond it, though. Like, they don't need it. Like, Undertaker... Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. He doesn't need it. Like. But like would it John be cool? Cena? <laughs> right. But would it be cool to see? Yeah, it would. I'm not opposed to it. I'm just saying, like, if he comes back, he doesn't need that kind of thing. Right. The Rock doesn't need that kind of thing. So speaking of Rey Mysterio, though, I saw this video earlier today, and it was uh, it was an older video, the short clip too. Uh. Locker room. John Cena comes in. Looks like John Cena comes in. He's gonna have a talk with Edge, and uh, Mysterio's in the background. Oh, I know. What you're and he's about. doing pull-ups yeah. on the locker room and thing. Edge fucking collapses. <laughs> I remember that. And Edge loses his shit. He just laughs so I, hard. I saw that. I laughed my ass off. That was hilarious. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. <laughs> that is like a little fucking rat falling from the roof or some shit. <laughs> like he does a couple pull-ups into the whole thing. The speedy goes all his fucking forearms and yells Sylvester. <laughs> he is, like, really short. When we met Kalisto, he was way shorter than I thought he was. Yeah, he's... he's you know who tall. I thought was short, but my height? Freaking, uh... God dang it, I always do this. Mark Henry? No, nah, hell no. <laughs> he knows how tall he is. Santino uh, Is he short? Hell no, that motherfucker my height. I ain't oh. short. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that dude tall. Huh. He's an MMA fighter. He is tall, but... That's just, uh, going back real quick, you know, continue yeah. that. Cody and, and Kenny, they're going to face off at Super Card of Honor. That's Ring of Honor stuff. 
April 7th. That could be WrestleMania. And it's in New Orleans, in right? In New yeah, Orleans. Yeah. So yep. I will take a road trip just to see that. Yeah. That New is. Orleans ain't but 10 hours away. One day, yeah. Give or take. my dream for this show is to get this show for us. To get it for us. To use it to get us to a WrestleMania. Because, I mean, anymore, you have, like, one-man shows, like, JR doing a one-man show, ROH doing a show, fucking uh, New Japan doing a show, and then, by the way, also, WrestleMania. <laughs> like, that's gotta be so fucking incredible well, as a wrestling fan. my thing. idea, you know, we could go to WrestleMania, you know, all the other big stuff, you know, but it's what? just my idea, and, you know, I have lots of ideas. We all have lots of ideas, bro. You know, but mine's, mine's kind of realistic and can happen. But you got to pull a couple of strings and do this and do that. And you got to have them out here. We don't, so I, I just keep dreaming about it and having, you know. All right, we'll talk about it off the show because I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Brian knows what I'm talking about. I think so. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that I think means so. no, he doesn't. Uh, okay. All right, let's pull it up. Okay. The next thing we want to talk about, I find fucking funny. We've talked about this before on the show, where people are like, so and so's fighting. These two people are fighting. It's like, uh huh. You know this is pro wrestling, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, it's like very, very public that these two public figures are going at each other. They're gonna fucking fight. Because Booker T is no longer commentary for Raw. I believe. Yeah. It's now John the Coachman. I love that, by the way. I was watching Raw, and he does such a good job. I I like it. I love Booker T to death. He is one of the most entertaining dudes in wrestling. He has some of the most aggravating fucking commentary. You just can't understand the motherfucker. Yeah. That's why Corey, that's why he want to fight Corey. Corey talks shit. Yeah, Corey fucks with him a lot about it. And, Mm -hmm. uh, apparently Corey Graves put politics to get him out of the job. So, Corey Graves is JBL now. Hold on. <laughs> now, anyone who knows a goddamn thing about wrestling or business knows that, you know, you hire somebody like Coachman, and is he going to replace Corey Graves? No. Is he going to replace Michael Cole? No. Is he going to replace the guy that can barely talk? Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, that so, was going to happen anyway because Booker was there because he's there temporarily until yeah, David Otunga came back, and David ain't come back. So they, they I like Coach Bat because it kind of yeah, brings back the old old school feeling. Yeah, the Coach Bat now. And uh, so you know, everyone was thinking that Brooks uh, Brooks, yeah, you damn right, <laughs> that Booker was actually upset Talk that up. Corey Graves got him out of this job, and Booker even said on a podcast that you know. He said, and I quote, if I catch Corey Graves on the street, I'm going to do something to him. If I catch him on the street, I'm going to do something to that sucker. Corey Graves will come for you. <laughs> I just say that. My apologies to everybody on the podcast. So, and, and Corey Graves, you know, all this shit was said. Corey Graves the next day posted something about some Chinese philosophy shit about, like, not doing anything and making the enemy fuck themselves up, basically. I can't remember what the fuck the yeah, actual he realized Booker T would fuck him up. Booker would fuck him up, yeah. Uh, he need to realize that. But Corey posted something real smart-ass, like, on Twitter. Yeah, and you can't mess so, with somebody from Houston like that. But, of course, the internet went, oh, my God, they really hate each other. So, Booker invited Corey on his podcast. It's like, oh, my God, how the fuck are these two going to get along? Turns out these two assholes are laughing at the rest of you assholes because they're oh, fucking shit. with you yeah, the whole time. <laughs> no surprise. Um, and I guess at some point, Michael Cole actually came to Corey Graves and said, is it legit? And Corey told him no. And Michael Cole wanted to know, where's it going? Nowhere. <laughs> Fuck Michael Cole. Stay your little rug rag ass and where you at. I love that, like... Little Pee Wee Herman looking motherfucker. I wonder who came up with it, though. Was it Graves? Like, hey, Booker. Well, fuck with some people. <laughs> You're on your way out of the commentary job. Let's make this look bigger than it actually is. Funny. That is funny as hell. I love that. Any thoughts on that, Brian? Uh, well, I got thoughts on this. Oh, what you find? Um, you guys hold on to your seats now. Uh, Sammy Callahan went to uh, the tooth some chocolate. I saw and that and earlier. Oh, what is it? The Chocolate Emporium at uh, Universal. Universal. 
Yeah. <laughs> cool as shit when you see stuff like that and it's like, why couldn't I have been there? Hey, you posted two pictures of it. it. Okay, but if we were there and you cool. saw Sammy Callahan, would you say something to him? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah? Sammy, I would, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sammy's probably down to earth kind of guy. I, I, you know, on all the wrestlers I've seen, like, like if we in a public place like that, I don't talk to him. You know, I don't like bring attention. If it's at a restaurant, who it is. yeah. If it's I'll at a restaurant, that, I would probably be like, "Hey, you no, know, I never do that at a restaurant. No, no. like if he's sitting there eating and like, no, no, no yes, over. you're right. If he's eating, no. Like if regardless like, if he eating, if he's there with a spouse, leave him the fuck alone. Like if I'm sitting here eating and he's sitting over there eating and like we look and make eye contact, I would do one of these things. Yeah, it's like, like two what, yeah, saw, okay. When I saw but, Big Cass yeah. down in downtown Orlando. They're having a Red Heart Chili Peppers concert. And I'm walking past a little bar that got set up in the street. And I saw him. And I looked down. He looked at me. I nod my head. He nod his head. And I kept walking. I'm not going to go over there. Oh, shit. Big cat. Dale Camilla. Oh, you are so goddamn fine. <laughs> I ain't gonna go and do that to everybody. Oh, shit. He must be somebody special. That black guy, that black guy freaking yelling at him. Let's go over yeah. and watch. You know, yeah, that's the other thing you don't want to happen is like for you to be like, can I get a picture with you? And other yeah. people like, oh, is he important? Is yeah, he important? Yeah, everybody else started. <laughs> like when I was working at that bar in Tampa, like when Seamus and Drew McIntyre and them, they took a picture with me. Like people come up, do you know them? Yeah, they're my best friends. And just walked off. Oh, okay, well, fuck it. All right, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, like it, that kind so of. So you situation. would give him the wave or something if he looked at you? Yeah, like if he was busy. Because he's he, got to know, right? Like he's pretty famous. Yeah. I think some of them will know that if they go out in public, they're going to see some fans. Yeah. You know, they're they going to fuck Especially in Orlando. Yeah, they're going to acknowledge them and stuff, you know, but hopefully the fan don't take it over, overreact by it. And yeah, but, like, if he wasn't sitting at a table, like, I would probably approach him. Yeah, if he was, like, standing yeah. around waiting for a table or something, yeah. maybe. Yeah. That but, restaurant's definitely got to be, like, the worst place to... I, I, I've seen lots of videos of that shit, man. It's not just wrestlers, either. It's everybody that's famous. Oh, yeah. There's you a know, funny yeah. story about, and, like, it's kind of cringy. The Bernie from Rooster Teeth was telling on the podcast. He has a Tesla that's he has painted, like, a, uh, what do you, cell shaded? Oh. Like, it's got, it's fucking rad. I'll just that's show it to you. Cool. And I guess some fans saw it in the mall parking lot, and they went store to store looking for him. And they found him at the uh, Cheesecake Factory and went up to him and started talking to him. And I had someone do that to me once. What? I'm not even kidding. Someone <laughs> saw my car a in the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah, someone saw my car in the parking lot, and they're like, oh, shit, who's, who's the guy with the lightsabers oh, in his back right. window? And they went from store to store, going up to the people working in the stores, like, do you know who drives the car? That's weird. With the lightsabers in the back window. And finally, they came into Spencer's, and I was just hanging out there with Lance, because he was working there, and we were just... <laughs> I guess this was at Crystal River. Yeah. And these two kids come in, and they're like, oh, my God, you guys have to help us. Because it was the last store that they were going to for some reason, even though my car was parked out right in front of the Spencers. They come in, and they're like, do you guys know who's driving the car with the lightsabers in the back window? They should have went to Spencers first. I know, right? And I was like, yeah, (laughs) that's me. And they're like, oh, my God, we just had to find out who was driving that car. You just got to put the cap on Bernie's story. I guess he was upset that they went and found him at Cheesecake Factory. Like, why would you think I was at Cheesecake Factory? It's a terrible restaurant. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I would... Yeah, that's, what, that's what he said. <laughs> but he was there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a kicker. All right. That's definitely a fucking kicker. All right, so back to wrestling. Bro, I told you I was famous. Yeah, I guess you did. He, he is, like, famous in bursts. You know what else is funny? Now, I think we, he may have been brought up earlier on the other podcast we did. Um, there's this guy that gets that we hang out around with sometimes, Tester. Now, throughout high school, I had heard about... Can we just give Tester his own show, by the way? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I, I heard of this guy, Mike Tester. Everyone you know, t- t- talked highly of him. Sounded like a cool guy. I even, like, barely missed him. I was staying at a friend's house, and he was coming over. And, like, oh, you're finally going to get to meet Tester. And I had to go, and I didn't. So, it was just a couple years ago. I went over because we were going to play Rogue Trader. uh, The Warhammer 
40k role playing game. And I walk into the room, and he stands up, and you must be Brian Peacock. I'm like, you must be Mike Tester. He's like, I've heard a lot about you. It's like, I've heard a lot about you. It was like the the alignment of the planets was just right or something. <laughs> to get, See, now so, you know how I feel. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. But you, you, everywhere you go is like that. This I just walked into this room, and it was just like... And now any time that myself and Mike Tester are in the same room, it's like a magical That's kind of how it was when I met Verano. Because I've heard about Verano so much. Oh, yeah. And then I finally met him, and I was like, oh, shit, you're him. But if, weird. I don't want to hear about nobody, but people hear about me. Yeah, <laughs> but it would have been... It would've, it's like that if Verano heard that much about you as well. Then There's like, a lot of stories about you, like all your salad escapades. Yeah, just taking salad. Off, I, off I, and there's a story. I don't know if you remember. We'll get back on subject. Speaking of salads... <laughs> Remember y'all picked me up from my grandma's house? I do, yeah. We went and played hockey down there. And you were like, look at salad. Yep. And I, shut up, dude. I ate a salad yep. before I left. I so what else is salad? And I fucking up chucked that stuff so bad. Oh, God. Hard. I scored one goal, my first goal ever playing hockey. I scored a Lance. Now, I don't know if Lance made that did that so I could score so I could be happy. Oh, no. I actually no. score. Because Lance scored. pretty good. Yeah, Lance wouldn't let anyone get a shot. So I actually scored on him. And you probably, in turn, scored on me, too, because I was probably playing defense. Yeah, that, that was my first time ever scoring a goal, and all of a sudden, boom, I threw up. Who the fuck did you play hockey in Florida? Yeah, it, we, it, was, we played, like, it wasn't like ice or roller hockey. It was, just fucking, it was deck hockey. Yeah. No, 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 no skates. And the basketball oh, okay. Course. I fucking love deck hockey. That shit was fun. Yes, it is. That was fun. It's but, usually like three-on-three three with mm-hmm. a goalie. But you brought up a salad, you know, freaking... I ate an old salad before I, they picked yeah, me up. Yeah, it was bad. I, Gross. I, I cussed my grandma out when I got back home. Gross. I'll never forget that night, because one, I think that was the night my stick got broken. My favorite stick in the mm-hmm. fucking world. A lot of stuff happened that night. And I jumped in front of a slap shot from a Canadian. No shin guards. Mm-hmm. Never do that. That was Damn. fun. Though. Yeah. That was fun. All right, we'll get back to There's nothing to do with wrestling. <laughs> nope. It's sports related. Yeah, it's sports related. It is, fair enough. Uh, last bit of news we have here is that supposedly, and there's a lot of places reporting on this, so hopefully it's true, Vince McMahon is no longer overseeing 205 Live and Triple H's. It would Holy be shit. A lot more exciting than they're making it sound. <laughs> it would be exciting. <laughs> so, Triple H is now in charge of 205. Yeah. So... 205 is going to be like NXT now. Let's hope. So it's just a sign of Vince moving casually into the sunset. Let's hope so. Let's hope he starts... Is this his test with Triple H right now? I think NXT is his test with Triple H. But 205... He passed that test. I'll tell you right now. Fuck yeah, he did with Flying Colors. Mm -hmm. And 205 Live, yeah, it was maybe just another test. If Triple H do 205 NXT, I'll watch 205. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. I'll watch. Um, you know, Drake Maverick has been added as the guy who's running it, but like, you know, on screen. Yeah. Um, which is awesome, because he is an awesome personality. And hopefully soon we're going to get guys like Adam Cole and uh, Aleister Black and Kalisto uh, back on the show. Hopefully, you see, that's one place I feel like Rey Mysterio should get a title run. Cruiserweight Championship. It would make that belt so fucking important. If they gave that belt to Ray, that's like giving, you know, the Intercontinental Championship now to John Cena. That would elevate that belt big time. No, the fuck it wouldn't. Yeah, yeah it would. I Not would. with John Cena. Okay, put the Not cruiserweight belt on Ray Mysterio. That's different. You can't compare the motherfuckers okay, like that. Okay, fair enough. It would be like putting the Intercontinental <laughs> belt on Stone Cold Steve Austin right now. Actually, when he won it, that belt became more famous anyway. Stone Cold? Yeah. Yeah. Then The Rock won it. Then it, it, it was... Okay, yes. That's... And that, yeah, yeah that's probably saying, a better though, example. Don't, don't, don't use John Cena. Well, that's what John Cena, they tried doing with the U.S. Championship. It didn't fucking work. Well, maybe a little bit, because the Open Challenge thing was pretty cool. But, uh... Yeah, Roman Reigns did that, too. Yeah, but no one cared when Roman Reigns did it. Nobody cared when John Cena. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was just like back in the day when they put the belt yeah, in yeah. the Continental Belt I, on I Stone Cold I, and The Rock. Saying, and, yeah. But yeah, if like, can you imagine Rey Mysterio got made Cruiserweight Champion? Hey, I'll run with it. Hell yeah. I'll run with it. Did you then. watch Rey Mysterio on 205 Live? Yeah. Hell but yeah. But I don't really want back. to watch 205 Live. It's just... But Rey Mysterio would make you definitely watch They're looking at Devil come back? No? <sighs> See, I... It'd be weird watching Ray Ray down there with people that wrestle with nobody know about. No, because I'd love to see him against... Well, Anybody? Or the uh, the Luchas. Yeah? Like, there's a whole stable of Lucha. I don't know if they're all together, or if it was, if it was just that one match. But, uh... Listo. Um, uh, Grand Metalik. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, any of the Lucha guys, but also, you know, Mustafa Ali, TJ Perkins. TJP. Fuck, TJ Perkins versus Rey Mysterio. TJP just... is my tie to 205. Yeah, like, definitely. That's how I see what goes on there. But even, you know, or like Brian Kendrick, Mustafa Ali... Those guys would all put on fucking clinics with Rey Mysterio. They need, they need to do it like they used to back in the day with the Cruiserweights. What's that? Implement them with the Monday night and Tuesday nights. I think they are a little bit. Sometimes you see them on not the like, Not like it was back then. Though. Well, but yeah, you're right. They don't... It, it's, it now it, they are separated. Pretty much definitely. Well, yeah. Yeah, they got their own... They, after SmackDown, then they got their own... Show and stuff. But. It makes them look like, well, you guys can't wrestle the heavyweights. You, you get killed. <laughs> yeah, but like, with them on the same show as everybody else, it makes it better. Yeah. Let's say, you know, just have to wait till SmackDown end to watch 205. You think that's bad that they're on a separate show? I, it, I think it just it just tells them y'all a little fucking It could just better. be a fucking segment on Raw. It's three hours long. <laughs> or just, you know, do like what they used to do, have a storyline with a cruiserweight. Boom, oh, you want to fight me? Boom. Go out there and fight. Boom, it's over. Yeah. I think 205 Live was a product of the Cruiserweight Champion, uh, the tournament doing so. Nah, I ain't got no problem. I just, I just want, you know, make them, I don't know. Well, hopefully, I mean, 205 Live has had, like, real shit storylines. Like, Alicia Fox is in love with everyone. Yeah. That's, that's like, the home. only storyline that was hey. in 205 Live I can think of. She a straight old. She from Jacksonville. Oh. Yeah. That was a funny storyline, though. It was funny, but it wasn't, like, compelling. It didn't make no, people want to no, watch no. it. It was funny for clips on YouTube. She ran through that yeah. locker room like them hoes you do back in the day. God damn, Brooks. Sorry. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I, I really hope that yeah, he does yeah. well with do 205 Live. I still don't get why they made her fucking captain of them, the uh, freaking Raw team. Was that Raw or SmackDown? That was weird. I don't like know, for no it, real reason, she was captain. Yeah, it was. Survivor Series? Was that Survivor Series? That sounds right, yeah. That made no damn sense. Hey, hey, I ain't over there right I now. think that was... I mean, really, Alicia Fox is very, very charismatic. That the was probably you know. why, because she's fucking crazy. She was the captain. She had the captain's hat and everything. She liked the R-Truth of women. You just oh. fucking nailed it. That's funny. You nailed it. Oh, they're talking about he needed to retire, too. I He should... No, he should not retire. He should go to the performance center. Because that motherfucker can cut a promo. He needs to be, he needs to be used more. They, they and that too. I love our truth. From I what think, they're saying, what are they going to use him? They, damn, they got him There's everything. no reason they shouldn't use him. He is very good in the ring. He has very good promos. He has over a I'll, fuck. I'll, Look here. I'll give you an answer. Age. Yeah. They want the young guns, the independent wrestlers, to come up and steal the show now. They're trying to boot all these oldest, Dolph Ziggler, R-Truth, all them, you know, Goldust, and all them guys that's still in it from the past. They want them gone so the new blood, the new breed can come up and steal the show. I kind of agree. And, hey, what you just said, let them go down to the performance center and, yeah. and mold them. I like that. I think R-Truth would, would be I, perfect hey, for that. Ken Shamrock would be perfect for that performance center. Yeah. He can teach them MMA, submission moves, and all that stuff. That's perfect. R-Truth can teach them how to rap. Yeah, that motherfucker. <laughs> shit. Fuck yeah, buddy. You can teach him how to say what's up. The Usos are kind of growing on me a little bit. Yeah? They kind of grow. I've been watching. They've been cutting some good promos. They do cut good promos. And they, they've been growing in the Uso penitentiary. You know, at some point, you know, in doing a promo, I think they're speaking real about real life situations and shit. I dig that. 
Yeah, I dig that. I, I, I dig the Usos a little bit. Not that much, because I don't like that, you know. The thuggish gimmick? Yeah, I don't like all that crap. And we, I wish they would just reel it back a little bit. It's so only crime time. I don't want to get away with it. <laughs> Crime time. But crime time wasn't even serious about it. It was like they were stealing bicycles time. and shit. Bro, I remember when they stole Ron Simmons Hummer. Oh yeah, that was hilarious. Oh my god, they stole the man Hummer. Hey man, you want this Hummer? Yeah. Also, they turn around. Damn. I think that's just it. Like they were, <laughs> they were a couple of fucking goofballs. But they they they, they can rest a little bit. But Usos act like they're gonna slit your throat. That's just they. I, can, I ain't got no comment on that one. That's been this one, man. Oh, hopefully on trips takes over. Go out there and act your color. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay, so now that you bring that up, though, I do want to bring up, I, I saw a thing in an article earlier that I don't really, I, I don't know, it's just weird. Apparently, I guess it's true that there has to be a black guy on commentary. Huh? Percy Watson on NXT. Huh? Um, shit, who's on SmackDown's? He's no black guy. Oh, Smackdown. that freaking goofy that one guy. Huh? That one guy. I know. Yeah, he is black though. And now Raw has coach man. Where the hell Facebook you get that shit from? Some fucking article I saw. Is that a bad thing or does it just? No, they probably bitching about something else. I don't know. I don't really think it's a bad thing. And then they were talking about how all the the colored wrestlers are in a faction together, and that's the only thing they can do. What? All three of them. Well, like, Team Bad. <laughs> Who? Yeah, Team Bad. It was, like, it was Sasha, Alicia Fox, and Naomi. Oh, that was, see, that was so stupid when and they started And you got Titus somebody. Worldwide. That's just stupid, period. Crime Time. That was just hilarious. I don't know. They Nation of Domination. <laughs> that was freaking beautiful. As a white guy, you know, I don't think it's really an issue. Do you think it's an issue? I don't really give a shit. You think they give a shit? Nah, they're making money. <laughs> yeah. You put me if I if I'm making millions of dollars and hey, go be with that black guy. Millions I'll suck dollars, it up. Millions of dollars, millions of dollars, millions uh, of dollars. <laughs> nah, but I, I don't really pay attention to that crap. As long as they do a good job, what they doing? Yeah. I ain't really noticed that to be honest with you until you just said it. I didn't notice it either, but I guess it's true. I guess it doesn't really matter. And one thing, Corey Graves needs to stick on one show. He only need to be on two shows. Is he on two? Yeah, Raw and SmackDown. He's real good, though. Yeah, but they need, they need to have somebody else on SmackDown. Or Probably Raw. should. No, you know, he don't need to be both shows. Bring up, uh, what's his face from Ring of Honor? Nigel, he's ready. Bring but. back Kelly Kelly. That's not Kelly Kelly. <laughs> yeah, you bring him back, too. <laughs> um, Kevin mm-hmm. Kelly? No. Oh, Jeremy yeah. Borash. Who? Jeremy Borash. I'm in a TNA. He just got signed to WWE. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. They're probably going to have him back soon, though. Like, we talked about it on the last episode. I guess you weren't on. You have any thoughts on Jeremy Borash? He pretty, I like him. Yeah, he's great. He, he's he, fucking he, voice of TNA, and they yeah, lost he's it. Been there, he's been there for a long the time. The beginning. Man. Literally yeah. the beginning. You know shit hit the fan if somebody from the beginning leaves. Yeah. Look at all the big stars from TNA. They're talking about Bobby Lashley coming back, EC3. Yeah. NXT nine. Shit. Bobby Roode, so, James Storm popped in for a minute. Bobby Roode is being a very good. You know, you don't like him, do you, Brian? Who's that? Roode. No. You don't like him at all, or you don't like him because he's a heel. No, it's not because he's a heel. I don't like him at all. He doing a damn good job <laughs> with that title, though. Never liked him. I watch his match. Mosquitoes. Huh? Nothing. I yeah, like, I don't like him. Mosquitoes. Yeah, it's a joke. Oh, okay. The joke uh, only he gets. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What? What? That right there. Yep. We're gonna wrap it up, boys, uh, and stick around, cause I know we've said lots of times that we're gonna get Lance on the show. Yeah. We're gonna get chaos on here. Wasn't that his wrestling name? I think so. I can't remember. He's technically gonna be on the show, technically, cause. The last podcast we recorded today, he won a serious wrestling rant. And I'm just going to put it in this show and say that he was on our both our podcasts now. There you go. And uh, fuck you if you don't like it. So I'm going to put that in here. Put me, put it in here, me. Put, put me in here. Don't give me the look. The hell wrong with I'm real tired. We all tired. Let's go. And go to Lance.
I mean, that's yeah. basically every podcast, future this podcast, where like, how's wrestling? It's shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I, uh, I made Lance's day. I tagged him in a uh, Matt Hardy video. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Here. <laughs> yeah, really. Dude, Broken Hardy is the fucking best. No, it's shit. It's so good. That is the most garbage fucking gimmick I've seen in uh, all my yeah. days of watching wrestling. <laughs> wow, Lance. Tell us how you really feel. That, that whole thing. Okay, yeah, so one of the Hardys... The one you don't expect. The one you don't expect, yeah. The one that nobody cared about. <laughs> oh, damn. Tell us how you really feel. Has this gimmick now where he's... Well, at first he was broken hardy, but that's, you know, TNA shit or something, so... He's gonna be broken again soon. He's gonna be broken now. He already is broken. So now, for WWE... He's <laughs> that's how far removed Lance is. Woken that's still a new thing. Party. <laughs> and he's just got this stupid thing where he's like possessed by some. He's possessed by yeah. A what the fuck is it? Immortal and some... like he has memories of like uh, titties, Alexandria titties. and what? Like the past or some sword? shit. Yeah. <laughs> and so <laughs> Matt Hardy is his new vessel. Yes. And exactly. He does all this. Stupid, due to my condition, and just sounds like a fucking idiot. And does all these crazy, creepy, supposed to be creepy laughs that kind of just make him sound like handicapped. So he's gone So, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, I like, it's it. just, it's stupid. It's garbage. And it's, it's shit. It's bizarre. It's, it's supposed to be bizarre. Shit. All right, it's not bizarre. Go. It's are, shit. Now you can cut all that off garbage into the next. We already have gold dust and stardust for bizarre. Stardust this is, is worse. <laughs> like those, you could actually appreciate. <laughs> Damn, Lance, tell us how you really feel. I am. It's just. It's so annoying. It's dumb. I can't believe that like the WWE or any of its like producing or any writers or any owners thought that that was a good fucking. I need idea. to show you the final deletion and all the shit that he did. Yeah, delete, like, delete. What he's the past, but we're gonna talk about delete, which well, is the t- future. Well, the TNA stuff was like they threw. Uh, I think it was like Hurricane Helms into a volcano. And it erupted, and he was like, CG flew up in the air, and oh. eventually came down at the end of one to So three. wrestlers are, you That's know, coming terrible. out of the volcano. Wait, that. shit, they no. really CGI. Yes, it looks yeah. terrible. That's what wrestling is now. <laughs> That's what shit. TNA is think? now. Yeah. It, I just want to hear that glass shatter and see fucking Steve yeah. Austin come walking From the WWF the Attitude Era. <laughs> You know what else? Shit. See, now you've got me fucking going. <laughs> yeah, <happy now. laughs> See, what you got now is just name Namersons. <laughs> that drives me fucking nuts, too. Who's this guy's name? Brett Michaels. Michaels Michaels. Aaron yes. Anderson. <laughs> what happened to the characters? What happened to this character of a wrestler? Mm-hmm. You know? Steve Austin. Yeah, it was a name Namerson. But it was fucking Steve Austin. What the hell are you going to do about it? Oh, Nothing. Because you don't want to do man. anything about it. Yeah, Macho Man. Gimmicks. Hulkamania with Hulk Hogan and Mankind. Kane. Big Show. Andre the Giant. Ultimate Jimmy Warrior. Superfly. Snook it. They had, like, this character that right. they were playing. And there was the heel and the face. And now they're just all... I'm Guy Guyerson. We're uh, trying to make the WWE the uh, uh, MMA. So we're all just going to have really cool... It's like professional stage names like in Hollywood and I'm gonna be you know Jeff Jefferson and go out and <laughs> punch people and shit there you, go. you know and that, that's that's wrestling. that's wrestling now that's Pretty what much. it is now the gold of wrestling is gone it's been looted probably by blood pack <laughs> and he brings it back it's around. in better hands now yeah so they need to fix it but fix it or he's getting a lawyer. Fix it or I'm getting Lance a lawyer. Lance walked in, took the gold, and said, you can have this back it and get your happen. shit out of yeah, your ass. Yeah, get your so shit we, we need a prop WWE belt for, like, if you ever get a chance to slam some on the ground. Are you going to stand up and pull the belt? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, back. thank you for listening to the Future Heels podcast. What were we going to say, Brian? I was saying, and we're back. And <laughs> it, since I have my own microphone over here on this side, okay. you probably picked up a lot more. So if... You heard me snoring. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you probably heard me snoring through the first podcast. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's true. You were there was a lot of talking in that first podcast, which it's you should go listen to. Funny. It was you funny. Two. I was just damn tired. So <laughs> funny. That's okay, man, because the rest of those guys picked up. Yeah. Good. We, we really like. You could have right. stayed home until before this one. Bitch, I would never came in. Don't even try <laughs> I know you wouldn't have. So when we got here, Brooks <laughs> or Brian said, "Where's Brooks?" I said, "I don't know. Probably sleeping." I actually woke up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you were coming. No, I was coming. I just figured out what time I want to do it. Well, yeah, oh yeah, we were recording this very late. As a co- as it's like almost three o'clock in the morning. It is three <gasps> a.m. Shut your mouth. Both of you shut your mouth because I still got to record or I got to edit this shit. Yeah, I got. I, two I got. Construct. I got to walk all the way to my room. I yeah, got to drive. You. I got about. 2025. Alright, I gotta edit this podcast, so thank you for listening, guys. This has been the Future Heels Podcast. Hey, you know, drink of water in between? Oh my goodness. I can't do the outro if he keeps talking. Brian, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I brush my teeth. My name is Jacob Come Best of the Realm Hotter. Just because you got a microphone, don't mean you can interrupt. I can shut it off. <laughs> Then I'll I, be like CM Punk. Actually, you'll only make me more famous. Brian having a pipe bomb. I don't know. His walking distance. I Brooks. I don't know if I can turn his microphone off. I could barely get them turned on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, come on. We just, we laugh because we're tired. Yep. Doing, doing the pipe bomb over here. Brian, I'm doing Jacob Best in the room, hotter. I'm Brian. Brian man, Peacock. He only does everything, Peacock. I'm Jeremy, the coach, the host, host. Brooks. The what? <laughs> the host. I don't want to say that. Okay. I'm a host. Well, I might work out Hooters or some shit. Applebee's, I'm a hostess now. Yeah. Fuck off. Table for one, please. Okay, sir. Thank you. Oh, hey, real quick. We're going to start doing a sports podcast soon, so y'all stay tuned for that. We'll work out all the details. I'm glad you're bringing it up, because that means it's going to happen. Probably not, but I'm just saying it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna be, we're going to uh, have a future TV series where we're going to start doing some funny, funny shit. I hope so. Oh, we got that's cameras. Gonna, that's definitely going to happen because me and Brian okay. and Brian act stupendous. Fucking do it. I'll edit it and put um, it up. Or I'll be in them when I can be. All right, let's go. You can find me on Twitter at Best of the Realm, Facebook, Best of the Realm Gaming, uh, uh, Facegram, <laughs> Instagram, at Best in the Realm, and YouTube, Best of the Realm, twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. You can find me at, uh, on Twitter at jbrooks42. Yeah, remember this time. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Instagram, jbrooks42. I already got too many friends on Facebook. Don't know how. Don't know half of them. But, Brian? No, what? What's your Twitter and shit? Uh, I'm on Twitter at Brian25, but I never use it. And uh, on Instagram at Brian1138. And I haven't used that all night trying to stay awake. Okay. And you can find all of this content on Facebook at Future Villains, Twitter Future Villains, and you can find it on our website. And oh, we're on iTunes and we're on Google now. Google. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Google. So if you got Google Play, Google Music, whatever the fuck it's called, you can subscribe to us on there. Make sure you subscribe to us on there and iTunes and YouTube. Gmail. And you can find all of this content, including the awesome podcast we did earlier. You can find awesome galleries of l- LARPing. Brian's taken. Brian has made some awesome artwork of all the Blood Pack characters. You can find all of that on futruevillains.com. That's F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S dot com. Go check out our new logo, too. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, you guys, are we done? We're done. We're done. Yep. Let's stop. <laughs>